You know what the, the fuck going on, man. Hey, hey, hey. Touch down the Cali to the Zazas on Walk Hard. Hey. I just touched down the Cali, hey. I just touched down the Cali to the Zazas on Walk Hard. The Tesla too quiet, I ain't even know that bitch started. Just cut my bitch off in the hills, her ass kinda retarded. My homie just flexed on me, pulled up in the Ashton Mar. Double shots of 1942, this ain't no Remy Mar. This nigga want a deal on a pound, I ain't finna bargain. How the fuck you say you get a money, bitch, you work at Target. Nigga did a crime, night snitching, fuck you wanna party? Hope a nigga put him in a ditch, leave him in a garden. I'm a New York course ass, sipping at the garden. Let's talk about this new project. I got the new project, man. It's called No iPhone, No Android. So I got that from, I think it was Lil Wayne. Yeah. Okay. The no pad, no pencil. Yeah. So I remember that. Basically, I'm, I'm freestyling on. So wait a minute. The entire project, you freestyled it? So he improv the whole project. Yeah, it is. Because, like, how I, feel, how I feel about it, each bar you come in with the energy, you bring it mm -hmm. every bar, every bar, the bar, so never really losing your breath on it, you know? Mm -hmm. The song will just, I mean, if you do it right, it'll flow right. Yeah. So I've been ready, you know? So have you put down the pen and the pad, like, you no longer use those things? I, I don't remember the last time I wrote. <laughs> I ain't wrote a song in probably some years, for real. For real. Really? For real, yeah. hmm. everything is... Freestyle. Okay. I just try to go with, like, I rap about a lot of stuff, you know. I try to just go out with what I did maybe that week or something, you know. Okay. So if we had to... We had to define you as an artist. What type of artist are you a... Uh, Cause you know hip hop is broken into categories. You got rap, you got rappers, you have MCs, you have... Uh, I don't even know what you would call that genre but the newest genre as far as because i don't want to disrespect they call it mumble rap or nothing like that it's just a different way of doing things um but what what vein do you feel like you fit in or do you encompass all of them uh, i think well one of my last songs i say i ain't no rapper mm -hmm. i just money talk so mm. you know, i just i just money talk just so you like talk. baby with it but rubs hands like bird man yeah, you know, I, just, yeah. I just rap about you know, Get into it, get, you know what I'm saying? Get into it. Okay. Get into the bag. That's all I rap. I ain't no drill rapper. I don't, you know, I don't rap about. So you rap, so, so you like, you like the Creflo Dollar of rappers. Yeah, yeah. Like, are you pre prosperity rap? I'm talking about getting some money. Yeah, yeah. Ain't no wrong with that. I know the popular shit. You know, everybody like to rap for the drill shit. I know a lot of niggas ain't like that. I ain't like that. So you feel me? I'm not feeling it. I, I definitely appreciate that about artists like yourself because everybody is not the hardest dude on earth and you ain't gotta be exactly I see the trap of the year, this nigga ain't got a clock Nigga, I just made this whole song off a of half a box Stacking everything, nigga, put the pennies in the job The way I get good, nigga, I can host a seminar Before a car, we just need a bike with some handlebars As long as there's some money to be made, I'll go very far $500 for the scope, this bitch, he very far The shit I just spent the cookie, I could've bought a Jaguar This bitch needs to delete her only fan, she got a ass car like, why the fuck you driving in the Tesla like a NASCAR? The only thing this nigga probably driving was his dad car Bitch, I been getting money, nigga, what the fuck you mad for? This nigga is a I feel like it's better to be authentic because once motherfuckers see you for real, mm -hmm. when they get up with you, when they talking to you, all that sh shit that you saying them songs. Like, exactly. <laughs> exactly. A lot of times, the shit not adding up with, with a lot of these niggas. So mm. I just try to stay in my lane. I don't try to overdo it because, like, people know me. So if I hopped on the song alone. I just slid on it, you know what I'm saying, nigga? Bargain. How the fuck you say you get a money? Bitch, you work at Target. Nigga did a crime, night snitching. Fuck you on a party. So Hope authenticity nigga. is important to you as an artist. Yeah. The bark. Any car you see me hopping in, go be push a start. That's a real run in the L. I don't smell a fart. Now, now, what that? made you start rapping? Like, when, when, cause I, tell me the camera story. Cause I, we were talking offline and he had a career change. Oh, look, man, I, was, <laughs> I was shooting videos, like, uh -huh. let me see. This was probably like, in high school, I was, Strictly just shooting videos, cause I had other homies, older homies, they was rapping, you feel me? Okay. And I used to shoot they shit, you feel me? So I let this chick that I was cool with, that was like my friend, you feel me? Yeah. She was into the pictures, photography. So she like, 
can I borrow your camera so I can take, you know what I'm saying? I got a basketball game. Oh, so you and thought she was your friend. You feel me? She's like, I got this little basketball game. I'm trying mm. to shoot some pictures for the players and shit. Walk the band, walk the band. I'm all right, cool. So I let her borrow the camera. So I'm waiting, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm waiting to get the camera back. Man, I ain't never see that damn camera. <laughs> I never got that motherfucker back. My mama bought me that camera. My oh, on my ass. Oh, that camera. Like, hey, listen, she, y'all, y'all see the way he just said that. He said my mama bought me that camera. My mama bought, that camera, so my mama bought me that camera. My birthday, like I, I begged my mama for that camera. Hey, yeah. and, and having a having a yeah. camera. Was it? Now tell the truth. Was you sweet on old girl? No, that was that was like my people. Like I ain't, we ain't did. So if you, if, if she would have let you crack, you wouldn't. Oh no, I probably would have. Bread up. I, they, they, that's why she got the camera. See, no, uh-huh. sure. yeah. I, I, we gonna get the, we get to the bottom of it on the scene. We on the scene. We gonna get to the bottom of it. I'm a man at the end of the day. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't finna he's decent too. See? Nice See? Little that's little why she little. that's why she got the camera. <laughs> that's that's no, why she got the though. camera. I'm cool with her right now. Like we ain't the- wait, no, wait, no, wait, 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 wait. I let it So go. y'all cool now? We ain't cool, like we don't talk, but we like if I see cordial. It's cordial. Okay. Like, it ain't no right. it ain't no bad. But I still it. remember you took the camera my mama bought. I still remember you got my camera. I'm on your ass. <laughs> I ain't on your ass. Yeah, yeah, my name is Friday. It's taking a trust, somebody take out the guard. I knew how to rap, but I was chugging it from the K20D police. They would be mine. Give it junkie to Zans, got them looking like Zan. Who are your biggest musical influences? Like, I grew up, I was listening to Tupac, Biggie, Snoop Dogg, all them motherfuckers. Like, that's what I was listening to. Carter one, two, what? Carter, yeah, all, all the Carters. Oh, really? His old ass mixtape, like him and Jawel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All, I can't feel my face type I can't deal. Feel my face. Yeah. Oh, that shit was. Yeah. My shit. Uh, Gucci. Okay. Really? Yeah, really. I need that text now. Then let me hit give wow. I've been on that man. Got a whole lot of hoes, but not a whole lot of time. He ain't get in no work if you show me a dime. She got my dick in the mouth, cause I know how to rhyme. Do you, know you think you would do a versus? Hell yeah. You would do a verse. Hell yeah. Like, once I get there, because I feel like to do a verse, you got to. Yeah, you got to have some longevity. You know right, right, right. Type of longevity in the game. So I feel like when I get there, hell yeah, I'm going to do that verse. Because it's a, you know what I'm saying? It's a nice platform. And shit. Love I go. <laughs> That's what you're supposed to say. I, I, that's what you're supposed to say. That's what you're supposed to say. Um, who would you like to see a versus between? Like, we've had Bobby Brown versus Keith Sweat. Bobby, Keith Sweat, about, he shouldn't have took that. Um, Locks versus Dipset. We all know who won that. We saw the Fat Joe versus Ja Rule, which was surprising to a lot of people, but not me, because if you were alive during that time, then you know that Ja Rule used to be hotter than fish grease. Joe done had some hits, but not on that level. So who would you like to see? We've seen Snoop and DMX. We've seen... I want to see Wayne and Eminem. What? That's, yeah, that'll be hard. Who you got in that battle? I got Wayne all day. Okay. But I want to see... I, I think that'll be a good versus, though. So you think Wayne and, and, and Eminem would be... Not, honestly, because Wayne's so hard, I don't... I want Wayne to go against somebody, but okay. I don't know who Wayne could go against because I think mm. Wayne just got so much shit. Mm. I think he damn near killing a lot of motherfuckers. Like, he definitely is. I really, but I think him and Eminem would be cool. You wouldn't want to put M up against Jay? Against who? Jay J- Kiss? Jay Z. Oh, Jay Z? Yeah, who battles Jay? Who battles Jay? Who battles Nas? Like, Jay Z and Nas would be cool. I don't. Commercially wise, which is what Versus is built off of, like number one hits. Nas got some shit, yeah. but Jay, eh, but you know, I ain't really, you know, I ain't Jay got a lot, a lot. I wasn't really into Nas took a few breaks. Like, I, don't really I mean, Jay, this still the Jay Z era. Like Jay is still Jay. He's still gonna platinum every time he drops. What's up? But that's 
Besides yourself, give me your top three Chicago artists. Top three? No, let's make it five. Top five. top five. Old school or new school? All right, I'm going to go. No order. This ain't a no order. Okay. I'm going to go dirt. All right. Hurt. Okay. Um, I'm going to throw King Louie in there. Mm. He doesn't get mentioned a lot. They don't talk about Louie a lot, but he had a lot of hard shit. He definitely did. Um, I guess I got to throw Kanye in there. I mean, it's your top five. Like, it's your top five. You don't have to. Uh, I'm going to throw my last one. I'm probably do Polo G. So, give me some of your peers. Oh, Lil Blast, for sure. Lil Blast, okay. check him out. Uh, 103 League. KB Moolah, Moolah Hendricks. Mm. Uh, I like um, I like them uh, the boys from my West, uh, DCG. Okay. I like them. Uh, oh, who else? There's hmm. a lot of people. I, I, I really, I'm really fuck. I can't even think of their names mm -hmm. right now. It's a lot. It's of different people. when you're on the spot, it's like yeah. Chicago artists that I'm really fucking with right now. Mm -hmm. but I, but I can't put uh, Juan. We're already Juan. Okay. DK, that's another. He said he a singer though. Mm. And DK, it's a lot though. It's, a, it's it's so many artists in Chicago right now. That's hard though. Mm -hmm. That's hard, hard. From a collaborative standpoint, who are some of the artists that you would like to collaborate with? Hey, that... hold on, I'm sweet on that top five. Uh, <laughs> I ain't even throw Chief Keith in there. I'm Ooh, Mr. Cozart, he forgot about your Cozart. You, in there, man. Chief Keith you forgot about your Cozart. I don't know how I forgot about Keith. That's my boy. Uh, but on the collab set, uh, I want to work with uh, shit, Chief Keith. <laughs> So, okay. I with Segway. Dirk. Okay. That's we wanna do something with Dirk now. All right. Uh. Hmm. Man, I can't even think right now. There's a lot of people. Who would you wanna work with that is not a hip hop artist? I make some shit with uh Coy Leroy, the old girl. Mmm. She, she decent, even though like a lot of motherfuckers be hating on her, but honestly, she she kind of decent though. Okay. I fuck with her. Uh, some singers. Uh, what's her name? Tink. Oh yes, yes. Good job. Good job on that. I wanna fuck with the whole city. <laughs> Flip a chain. Oh shit. No, you gotta see that long live Buddy Z. You know, oh, I didn't know. Okay. Side. Yeah. Long live Buddy Z for sure. You did. But, uh, yeah, the whole, really the whole city, though, I really want to fuck with everybody. I want to tap in mm. the whole city, because I feel like, I feel like if Chicago was on some kind of, like, Atlanta shit, mm -hmm. you know, Atlanta really, like, Yeah, yeah, yeah. Even if they not together, they still they together, they they, under, they, under, they, under the they, umbrella. They, yeah, they, they get money together. So I, I really, I love Chicago to get on that, that same type of wave, because, I mean, I know it's a, it's a lot of bloodshed in this city. That's really why. A lot of mm -hmm. motherfuckers can't fuck with certain motherfuckers. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it make it hard. And certain artists, you, like as an artist, you don't want to make songs with certain niggas because you don't want to be exactly yeah, associated they, with whatever yeah. they got going on. And, and yeah, yeah, like, yeah. So me, like that's that's like my main thing, like in Chicago, because I know it's a lot of shit going on. So I don't, mm -hmm. try to, like, I don't be trying to. I can't fuck with everybody, and that's just yeah, no, that's real. And then roll with that. I'm not finna be getting into it with niggas cause That's smart. I'm song with you. Right. You know what I'm saying? Put a neck up, match at the check, girl, now I'm playing chess. Raise by hustle law, niggas had the muscle law, baby, before I tell me learn new about the flip. I ain't better with the clock when they got telling grip. Got 30 pretty shots, that's really full miss. I only want to give me your best experience being an artist, and then give me your worst experience in being an artist so far. Cause I know you got some stories. I'll say my best experience is probably like rocking out a show. You know what okay. I'm saying? So like as an artist, when you when you get on the stage and you doing your shit and the crowd, they fucking with you genuinely. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I feel like that's the that's the best part of, of being an artist. I mean, the, the worst part... I 
think the worst part about being an artist is when you first start mm -hmm. and the money that you're spending on being an artist mm -hmm. versus how you not you really not making the money. You know what I'm saying? Like you taking an L right at the at, you investing in yourself. I ain't gonna call it an L. You investing in yourself. But it's like you spend a lot of money. So what's the end game? What do you want out of all of this? Like when it's all said and done, when you when you're 78 and you're sitting in your rocking chair, sipping your your beverage, what do you want? I just want residuals. I need that check. You need a check, right? Yeah. I mean, you got to be able to sustain yourself in whatever you're doing. You need some money. You have to have. You have to be able to provide for your family. For your kids, for everybody. So, speaking of which, what do you say to yourself on those days where it's slow, or those weeks where it's slow and you and you don't feel like continuing? How do you keep yourself going? So, so with me, like I just, I see a lot of people, like I've seen motherfuckers doing some sh like rapping, mm -hmm. and just stop. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Or doing anything, like just doing something mm -hmm. in general, a job, I mean, not a job, but... The can't get right syndrome, like you start it, but you never finish. Yeah. I feel like, I'm one of them niggas, I feel like it's a time for everything. All right. So I feel like, stop right now. I probably was at, I was probably right there. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? I'm, I might have been right there, but oh, I yeah. never know. Because I stopped, you feel me? Versus if I just keep going, like I keep going, I never stop. Like you can't stop something you love doing. You feel right. me? Like I love making music, so I'm gonna continue to do it. Like I don't have my, I don't have my time, so I, done, I was discouraged. Like damn, mm -hmm. man, this shit. Right, because that's why I asked, because uh, yeah. we all have that's them. Even time. me doing this or, yeah, or just... I done went months. Mm -hmm. I ain't make shit. I'm like, man, mm -hmm. fuck this rap shit, man. I ain't making no money, man. I got to go get some cheese. You know what I'm saying? Right. Man, fuck this shit. But then I always find myself falling back into it because I really love to do it. You know what I'm saying? And, like, now, it's like, now I never stop. Because, like, even though I'm not the top nigga, I'm not there, but I feel like I got motherfuckers that listen to me. I got people that see me. So I feel like that's my shit is going to keep going up. Like, I, I can't go back. You feel me? Like, right. It, it, I can't get no worse than what I am now. So you feel me? It's like... I got nothing to lose. Up. It, it, it ain't shit yeah. to do, but keep going up. So I never stop. So besides, what are some of the other things you see for yourself in the future? Like, uh, do you have aspirations to do? Uh, yeah, honestly, I, I really, I, I want to do like some, some. Uh, I want to do movies. Like, I want to do it. I want to, uh -huh. I want to act a little bit. Okay. I want to. Uh, as far as business ventures, I have a, uh, I have a cleaning company. Hmm. So I really, I want to, you know, expand that. And yeah. I do a lot of little shit though. I got, I got cars on Turo. You know what I'm saying? So, I so if you need a car. Yeah, if you need a car, look, <laughs> look me up on Turo, man. I got cars on there. You can book me. They for the low, too. I got some nice shit. But really, I just want to, you know, keep keep businesses, you know? Mm -hmm. I'm one of them. Keep them streams of revenue yeah, coming. Streams of revenue, yeah. I know you need multiple streams. So Absolutely. I want to get, like, I want to be a millionaire, then I want to have a lot of money. Like, yeah. even if I don't. Make it rapping, I still feel like I'm gonna be a millionaire, you know what I'm saying? Just mm -hmm. like business ventures or whatever I'm doing, you see? Mm -hmm. Like, I know that, man. Like, it ain't even no question. Like, this could be the springboard to something else. Uh, we watch people like 50 Cent. People, oh, you washed up as a musician, but he's really not because he just put out, what, four different TV shows that's killing the game right now. Theme song to every last one of them. Decent. That's what I'm saying. I'm the person that sits back like, I thought he was washed up. This theme song is yeah, fucking is hot. So hot. And then you go to YouTube and you look up the numbers and it's like, oh, yeah, he killing it. That's another thing. Like, I, like, I don't want to be the rapper when I'm 40. Like you see, Toy, you better put on that belt. Niggas get in that gym, be looking for help. I was 13, cuz get money by itself. Niggas looking for a pack, I had to get it out of the shelf. If you come a dollar short, then you ain't getting served. Last nigga popped on, had to beat him for the curve. Why the niggas think they can't get popped in a burst? Know a whole lot of niggas got popped on the sea. Some of them niggas. Everybody has a process. You dig what I'm saying? Like, everybody has a process. And when you come in the game, your window, your timeline, what is it that makes you so confident? in the fact that you're going to elevate because that's important because if you don't believe in yourself nobody else will so what is your belief in yourself 
Man, I, for, I really feel like I got it. Like, I ain't gonna lie, like, you can call it cocky, whatever, you, you know what I'm saying? I think it's just confidence. Like, I really believe that I got it. I got the look, I got the boss, mm -hmm. I got the motherfucking creativity. I got the team with me, I got my team around me. And we just gonna continue to build up. Like, I feel like, I feel like I'm, I feel like I'm one of the hottest niggas in Chicago right now. Even though, like, a lot of motherfuckers might not know me, I, I still feel like I'm one of the hardest niggas out here. Mm. Right now, so I know something gonna catch, and when that shit catch, they gonna go back to all that old shit and be like, "Damn, he been going crazy." You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So I just, I, I just know it's just, it's a time thing. Like I really believe it's a time for everything. Like I feel like it's, a t I feel like maybe this wasn't my time. Like that shit up. Mm -hmm. Even now, like it might not. It's, it may be some other shit going on in my life that. I might not be prepared for it, you know what I'm saying, what's coming from me, but I know when that time comes, I'm going to be ready, and I know that time, I know it's going to come, because it's, it, it's the time for everything, because I've been at the bottom of this shit, like, I've been fucked up, but my time came, and you see me, like, you know? There you go. I definitely appreciate you stopping through and chopping it up with me, um, we definitely got to have you back, um, make sure y'all go pick up that project. Make sure you pick make sure you pick up the old stuff, the new stuff, and all the stuff to come. Um stay in tune with on the scene because we definitely gonna um promote and let people know when it when it does. It's it's rare that you meet uh artists nowadays that I guess got sense. That's, that's what matters. Yeah, man. I was raised I was raised good though. Like I know a lot of motherfuckers wasn't That works. I was raised in the Look how that worked. Mama. You know what I'm uh, yeah. My mama bought me I'm that a, camera. I'm a, uh, <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a reflection of her, so I always gotta make sure I'm. A, you know? Yeah. We can find you and your music. Oh, yeah, so you can find me on Instagram, Twitter. Mm hmm. Ghostly145 is the same everywhere. You can find me on, on Apple Music, Spotify, all streaming platforms. You can find me at Ghostly. Ghostly. And I got tapes out. I got a tape out called uh, Little Bit of Lee. Mm. And I got another one out. It's called um, No iPhone, No Android. That's yep. The first part. Yep. The first part. That's out. So I got. So, but before you get out of here, we got the on the scene gear. You know what I'm saying? We got a mask and a shirt. Okay, okay. You know what I'm saying? We got to keep you COVID protected out here. So, uh, you know, make sure you tag us when you do wear it. You know, and, uh, I'll be, I'm, I'm one of the freshest niggas. <laughs> like, hey, when I put this shit on, they was like, damn, where you get that shirt from? <laughs> yes, sir. Uh, yeah, it's Rob Lee, Ghostly, on the scene. And we'll see you when you watch the next one because it's on demand. We'll see you in a minute. See you next time. All right. Long live Buddy G.